Howdy! This is an Earthquake MC43 mini tiller. They are sold everywhere in the United States and any small engine guy will tell you if it don't work it's because of either bad gas or bad carburetor. In this case it's the carburetor. You're going to need a 4 millimeter Allen wrench to take off the top bolts. The bottom bolts are 10 millimeter. The socket's easiest but you could use a box wrench I guess. You could even get away with using an adjustable wrench, you know, if you don't have any man tools. Then you're going to remove the four bolts holding the tank onto the bracket. This is again 10 millimeters, so honestly, all you need is a 4 millimeter Allen wrench and a 10 millimeter socket, and you can take this whole thing apart. You don't need anything else. By the way, when you take these, uh, these gas tank bolts off, there's a black rubber grommet between the tank and the mounting bracket. <laughs> Be careful. Uh, I dropped all four of these, uh, both putting them on and taking them off, and you'll have to search for them. Anyways, then I just pull the, pull the uh, gas lines out of the carburetor and uh, take off the air filter. I hate to think of how many projects I had to abandon because I can never figure out how to put everything back together. I love uh, taking uh, uh, iPhone pictures, then I can just go back and look at it. Once again, this is a 4mm Allen wrench. You're only going to remove the two bolts that are in line with each other straight up and down. The one that's off to the left actually just holds on the choke uh, bar, and you don't need to mess with that. Remember, when you take these these uh, these screws out, um, they're actually holding the carburetor onto the uh, the intake mount or whatever that's called. So once you remove those, the whole whole kit and caboodle comes off. Uh oh, that gasket didn't come with the new carburetor. Sooner or later somebody's going to comment, why didn't you just buy a carburetor uh, repair kit with just the gaskets and all that. And you know what, uh, for 16 bucks on Amazon Prime for the fuel lines and the carburetor, I'm not going to become a, a carburetor repairman. I'm just going to replace the thing. I'm sure that before you uh, decided to replace your carburetor, you checked to make sure the throttle cable was actually working because these the throttle cables tend to break, especially on this little soldered nubbin on the end here. Like I said before, I, I didn't buy the the carburetor gasket, so I'm just going to make one. This is just uh, this is that thin cardboard paper almost that's uh, on the back of a pad of other paper, and uh, I'm pretty sure this will do the trick. Um, you should use a punch to punch out the holes, but I didn't have any punches small enough, so I just you know. I was careful to trim it up and whatnot. I think it'll work fine. <coughs> I know, it's not exactly art. Okay.
forgot the damn spring. Okay, take two. Beautiful. There we go. Okay. To adjust the throttle cable tension, I just tightened it up by turning that, that adjustment uh, screw there until the handle itself, the throttle handle, didn't have any play but wasn't quite opening up the, uh, the carburetor yet. It's pre it was pretty easy to do. And then you just tighten up that retaining bolt. Replacing the fuel lines is easy. Uh, you just kind of have to remember which one is the return line and which one is the fuel in line. Obviously, uh, the, uh, the fuel line that has the, the fuel filter at the bottom is going to be your intake line, and the short one is the uh, is the return line. So when you press that little that little bulb to put gas into the carburetor when it fills the bowl or whatever it starts pushing it back into the tank. The way, basically as you look at the bulb, as you look at the carburetor, the one on the upper left, that's the return line. In my kit that fuel line had, or that return line had a little black cuff on it. And of course the other one, the one to the lower right is the intake line. After that, just, uh, just a matter of putting it all together. This takes a 1 to 50 oil to gas ratio, which is about 2.6 ounces per gallon. Thanks for watching. The Fritz 423 out.